Welcome to Giant Radio, where we're all about big ideas in sales and marketing and eye-popping discussions with successful entrepreneurs. Turn up the volume and settle in. Now, here's the founder of Giant Jacks Media and your host, Paul Hitchcock. Cold calling can drive all of us crazy, but it's very different from strategic calling. So let me tell you what I'm talking about. We all know cold calling where you're just smiling, dialing, banging out a bunch of calls. I remember the days I was making 500 dials, you know, a day calling, and that just doesn't last long. Uh, but when I was doing that, I always made a game of it. I had fun with it. Back then it was a baseball game. I was uh, including, you know, uh, pitches, strikes, balls, home runs, which were appointments I set. And so I just knew it was a numbers game. I had fun with it. I tried to get the, you know, the feeling of jitters away and just went at it. So uh, here's what strategic calling is, is that you still have fun with it, make a game of it, track your progress, but you're going to do it a little bit differently. So you're first going to send an email to your prospect with a very specific call to action. It's going to be a value oriented email with your CTA. Maybe it's to get on a Zoom, always Zoom over a phone call. Uh, but let's say that's your CTA. Now you send that the next day, you're going to make a phone call. Maybe you're doing 10 a day, five a day, 15 a day, whatever you can handle and build into your workflow, but you're calling up a very specific list. You've sent an email the day before, and now the, you know you're gonna get a voicemail. It's not a lost cause because you're gonna do this. You're going to leave a voicemail and you're going to refer back to the email that you sent. You're gonna say, you know, Sally, hi, this is uh, Paul Hitchcock. I sent you an email on Tuesday, yesterday, at 7.30 in the morning to this email address. I hope you got that. It's very important stuff in there, and I'd really love your input. You're gonna you know, frame it and phrase it uh, that works best for you, but that's the construct of it. Refer back to the email. Gives you a better chance that they'll actually look at the email, but also by leaving a voicemail, they hear your voice, and they see that you're articulate, and you're not trying to slam them. Hey, I was hoping to get on a phone call with you. And you're never expecting to go into a pitch when you call somebody cold like that, uh, you know, even if you do get them on, on the line. So refer back to the email and very concise and you hang up. You go on to the next one and you just make a process out of that, a game out of that. And then as you're doing that, of course, you're nurturing these people along the way. What do I mean by nurture? So you are inviting them to the virtual LinkedIn webinars you're doing. You're tagging them on the awesome content you have going out on LinkedIn and other platforms. If you're shooting video, I hope you are, and using that to market and brand and get your message out, you know, those are in your library on YouTube. So you're, you're tagging them on, on your YouTube videos. My point is there's a process for nurturing so that as you're calling, it's not just a naked cold call. There are supporting pieces around it that make it much more effective.